The first subject is lines you wouldn't hear in a horror movie. Get out of the water, quick! Is it a shark? It's Barrymore! <laughs> <laughs> I am Lucifer, Lord of the Night, and tonight I'll be singing Complicated by Avril Lavigne. <laughs> Dave, Dave, wake up. I think I can hear a noise downstairs. Wake up, wake up. Oh, hold on. No, it's just the washing machine I put it on earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> He's making a suit out of women's skin. Gok Wan has gone too far this time. <laughs> I am from Transylvania, and I will suck you dry. Oh, yes, and what about your cheeky sister? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Freddy. I think your set nav's on the blink. This is Elm Crescent. <laughs> <laughs> the child is vomiting, its head is rotating, and it seems to be possessed by the devil. However, Britain's social services have visited 20 times <laughs> and they think everything's OK. <laughs> I'm here to fix the hinges. <laughs> <laughs> As a vampire, I cannot bear direct sunlight, which is why I moved to Scotland. But now I can't find any virgins! <laughs> <laughs> Red rum. Red rum. Is over the last and wins the national. <laughs> <laughs> From the makers of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre comes the Swindon Lawnmower Kerfuffle. <laughs> This potion that turns you from Dr. Jekyll into Mr. Hyde, it looks a lot like six cans of Stella. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away! Stay away from the castle! The cafe's overpriced and the gift shop shits! <laughs> <laughs> the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear on a children's TV programme. We have John Craven. If you want to see him again, Press the red button. <laughs> this drawing has been sent in by Robert, age nine. That's a shit drawing, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> there are children your age in China who can make shoes. <laughs> this week's episode of Thomas the Tank Engine has been cancelled and replaced by Ronald, the replacement bus service. <laughs> no, no. No, it's not Bagpuss, but it is a dead cat I've turned into a bag. <laughs> 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 There's a rumour that the Teletubbies have been infiltrated by Al-Qaeda. Have you, Tinky Winky? <laughs> have you, Dipsy? <laughs> Rashid? <laughs> And remember, while crystal meth is a lovely treat, it is very bad for your teeth. <laughs> Flob a dob a dob, said Bill. <laughs> Bloody foreigners, said Ben. <laughs> Flob a dob a dob a dob, said Ben, because he'd had a stroke. <laughs> Today, children, we're going to be learning where babies come from. Part one, foreplay. <laughs> this year, we're sending condoms to Africa. So just ask your mum and dad to wash a couple out and send them in. <laughs> Are your mummy and daddy out of the room? Good. Listen, you're adopted. <laughs> Next up, Sharpie and Ryan take their audition failure very badly in Columbine High School Musical. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear at a party conference. Blackpool's nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Unlike other party leaders I could mention, I am not a slave to the auto cue. Smile, pause, applause. <laughs> 
Would you please welcome the man who's made the Conservatives an electable force again? Gordon Brown! <laughs> I'm going to turn my back for one minute and I want whoever stole David Blunkett's dog to put it back. <laughs> The delegates were so impressed by Ming Campbell's speech that they gave him a ten-minute standing cremation. Ah, <laughs> uh, kiss the baby. No, I'd better not. It might set my tag off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, on this issue, <clears throat> I'm with Al-Qaeda. <laughs> So, for Scottish independence and cheaper parking, vote S-N-C-P. <laughs> In an attempt to be more like Barack Obama, Gordon Brown has sensationally blacked up. And I do believe we are the only party who are going to do anything about the amount of unemployed dwarves in this country. In fact, I saw one just outside holding a sign that said, no job, too small. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to open this BNP conference with a prayer, so if you'd all like to turn towards Mecca. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear on a history documentary. Now follows a documentary about the Queen Mother, which contains nudity and strong language from the start. <laughs> And it was here, at this exact spot, that faced with 30,000 baying Frenchmen, that Henry V shat himself. <laughs> <laughs> On the first day of the Battle of the Somme, over 60,000 documentaries were commissioned. <laughs> <clears throat> I was in the parachute regiment. I was dropped over occupied territory. 4,000 feet, 3,000, 2,000. I pulled the cord. Mm. My cagoule tightened. <laughs> <laughs> Two world wars and one world cup. <laughs> Doodah. <laughs> and it was actually here in this very tower that the princes were slaughtered. Uh, William on Red Bull and Vodka and... <laughs> 1547. Nostradamus predicts the rock group the Kaiser Chiefs. <laughs> he also predicts a riot. <laughs> <laughs> on one side of battle stood William of Orange. On the other side, Charles of O2 and Richard of Vodafone. <laughs> The final outcome of the Second World War has changed the world forever. So, if you don't want to know the result, <laughs> look away now. <laughs> Next, Eva Braun, the inventor of the lady shave. <laughs> so it was my job to assassinate Himmler. So I stood behind the tree and waited for his car to come round the corner. And then I leapt out and I said, Boo! Sometimes all we had was the element of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon was imprisoned in St Helena, which was extremely uncomfortable for her. Her hat was pointy, <laughs> and he never took his boots off. <laughs> <laughs> the Loch Ness Monster. Fact or fiction? Fiction. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, during the war, I was brought up in Dorset. None of us expected the surprise Japanese attack on Pool Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> Bad things for a by-election candidate to say. I would like to kiss your baby, but we don't want to go down that road again. <laughs> <laughs> I am the perfect candidate. This is an election, and I am by. <laughs> <laughs> For me, Doris McGarvey. I'd like to say no relation, but... 
I'm not going to lie to you, power gives me wood. <laughs> I've been knocking on doors in this constituency for weeks and it's completely unconnected to the recent stranglings. <laughs> Knife crime must end. Just last week, I was given a steak knife when I clearly ordered the fish. <laughs> if elected, living standards will go up. For me and my wife. <laughs> I would say the fact that the Labour Party haven't put forward a candidate has not devalued this election at all. Ask my fellow opponents, Timmy Mallet, Elvis and the Honey Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to bring crime in this constituency down by patrolling the streets at night dressed as a man-leopard. <laughs> I have impeccable green credentials because I've never used deodorant or had a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about politics, but I can crush a ripe pear between my buttocks. <laughs> OK. The next topic is unnerving things to hear during a medical examination. Yes, uh, I'll be operating. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Come here, you've got to look at this! <laughs> That's your smear test done, and I do have some bad news. I'm the janitor. Yes, well, it's definitely stuck up there. <laughs> we, may, uh, we may have to use the ferret. <laughs> uh, so, if you'd like to just pop your clothes over there, next to mine. <laughs> You'll live for about a week. <laughs> Well, there's good news and bad news. But don't worry, I can give the good news to your widow. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, panic over. It was just a spider on the microscope. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how does it feel if I touch you here? And here? And there? <laughs> work, but every time I prescribe them, I get a free pen. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't have your old hip back, Mrs Smith. I fed it to my dog. <laughs> this is one of the healthiest x-rays I've ever seen. But if we compare that with yours... <laughs> Right, um, I thought for a change, um, I could cough and you could hold my balls. You have the body of someone half your age growing inside your womb. <laughs> well, there's good news, you've had a baby. And the bad news, it's blown your cock off. 